humans will forever do their darndest to keep the wilderness out of their homes, but the wild always seems to find a way. From wild hogs to polar bears walking with the town's population, here are 15 of the craziest animal invasions caught on camera. Number 15. Feral Hogs In a 70-acre field cratered with holes up to 5 feet wide and 3 feet deep in Texas, there's something bizarre going on with the wild pigs. They're invading on a level that are all seeing sorts of devastation in the area. Wild hogs are considered among the most destructive invasive species in the U.S. today, just to testify how troublesome these pests can be. Two to six million of the beasts have been wreaking havoc in at least 39 states and even four Canadian provinces. In Texas alone, they annually cause more than $400 million in damage. As you can see, this invasion is nothing to scoff at. They're infamous for tearing up recreational areas, even terrorizing tourists in state and national parks. They even go as far to force out other species of wildlife if the pig horde gets too large. The state of Texas allows hunters to hunt wild hogs year-round without limits or capture them alive to be delivered to the nearby slaughterhouse. They're so prevalent and hunted that many residents of the states even take to the skies in private helicopters to take them down in troves. Yet, despite all of this, they return by the millions and cause a similar number in damage. The goal is not eradication, but control, and right now the hogs are way overpopulated in more than one area. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Cats are one of the hardiest species when it comes to living in the streets and or on their own. The typical city cat today, however, is finding comfort in packs rather than the solitary lifestyle. Where is this change coming from? Across the globe, major cities have been reporting swarms of cats not only moving together, but working together when they find a suitable place to forage for food. Are cats changing their natural solitary lifestyle and trading it in for the pack life, like dogs? And after all this time? Live in a big city? Seen an increase in feral cat activity? Just want to weigh in on the subject? Drop a line below and don't forget to use the hashtag open discussion to chime in on the conversation. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Bees, bees, and more bees. Bee invasions might seem like a terrifying notion, but it comes down to the type of bees and whether or not you know how to handle that situation. If not, call an expert. Some people are so confident around the species that they can just scoop them up and place them in a new location without a bee suit. However, that takes a certain know-how, not to mention you must give off the scent of the queen to pull off a stunt like this. As an amateur beekeeper, definitely stick to the bee suit until you understand the inner workings of the bee species. If you put the hive at risk, bees will strike at the command of the queen. However, if you know how to talk like they do and identify yourself as a member of the hive, they'll ultimately allow you through unharmed. They'll even land on you and check you out without stinging. If you're scared of honeybees before, perhaps this changes your mind. Being allergic is one thing, but hating them just for that fact is another. After all, honeybees are a vital part of the world's ecosystem, and without them we wouldn't have the fruit and vegetables that we have today. If you ever happen across swarms like this, just leave them be and call an expert. Too many stings can be deadly. Number 13. Polar Bear Town There are some towns where residents often feel safe enough to leave doors unlocked, so their neighbors can just walk in and borrow the cup of sugar, and then there are towns where doors are kept unlocked so that neighbors can escape the daily wandering polar bear looking for food. At this Arctic Russian town, they share the streets with polar bears on the daily, who have grown accustomed to scavenging through human trash cans and remnants. It's safe to say that these species, at least at this location of the world, are evolutionarily converged. That isn't to say these polar bears will refuse a human feast if a pedestrian decides to test those limits, but many there say it's a start. At first, the polar bear that arrived only did so because they were starving. This presented a dangerous situation since a starving bear is not to be trifled with. Instead, residents just let the bears go about their business. Eventually, the bears left, and the people were allowed to roam the streets once more. Then they returned, and in larger quantity. The process repeats itself to the point where now more than 40 can be seen every single day. 
Number 12. Curious Raccoon Raccoons are crazy smart creatures who, among others, have found their way to live in a human society. Sometimes that means trash robberies or even home invasions. If you live in an area with many raccoons, don't leave your window open without a screen because you might just have yourself an uninvited guest. They're adorable and all, but they can be extremely vicious creatures when provoked. Luckily, if they're looking for food and you offer some, they won't pay any mind to the humans around the room, unless you get too close, that is. They may be hungry, but they're keenly aware of their surroundings and sly creatures. There's a reason the character traits are associated with them. If you get one invading, you typically get two, so you could find yourself outnumbered really quickly if you aren't careful. Number 11. Creepy Cane Toads Florida is at it again with another living thing trying to kill you. Mother Nature must love picking on that poor state. She's spoken loud and clear with the numerous swarms, unprecedented animal invasions, and just general craziness. In the footage, the newest creepy creature to emerge is that of a tiny amphibian that can often be found swarming toilets, swimming pools, and any type of minor body of water you can think. They can climb up walls, fill your living room in number, and just make you overall gag. These toxic cane toads were recently so numerous and overwhelming that residents and experts alike were screaming for help in dealing with the explosive population from outside sources and other state materials. The bizarre toads, also known as buffo toads, are another to an already invaded territory, invasive species that's found a hospitable home in humid Florida. Perhaps Mother Nature is telling us to just let it go to nature at this point. The saddest part of this whole tale is the toad was deliberately introduced in the 30s in an attempt to control an overwhelming beetle population. The beetles were destroying sugarcane crops and the toad seemed like a good idea at the time by how numerous they consumed the beetles. They had seemingly solved the beetle problem in a few short years, hence where their nickname cane toads originated. The main problem, one expert suggested, was the existence of an undisturbed lake in the neighborhood from which they most heavily spawned. With no natural predators to disturb the numerous toad eggs each year, nearly all of them had metamorphosed. Number 10. Snakehead Frankenfish Yet another monstrous invasive species, these beasts are bizarre looking. This fish is considered by experts to be one of the most adaptable on the planet. They're so well adapted for survival that should they ever find themselves beached, like the millions of fish before them, they can survive without water for four days allowing ample time for the tide to come in and pick them back up for safety. So long as some humans don't come along and claim it for themselves, four days! Could you survive underwater for four days? I think not. That's leaps and bounds longer than any other fish in the ocean, at least known to man. The dubbed snakehead is a species native to China, Russia, and parts of the Southeast Asia and is a unique one at that. It was first spotted in Europe and former Czechoslovakia in the 50s. The first of its kind were surveyed in the U.S. in 2002, confirming their likely global existence. The fish has since established itself in several areas across 32 states, with that rate increasing by the day. It thrives in rivers and ponds and makes it there in mysterious ways. In whichever body it find, it has become an alpha predator and is considered a significant threat to existing populations of fish around the globe. Number 9. Starfish Invasion the North Pacific starfish is on the march and literally covering miles of ocean floor. The invasive predator made its home in Hobart's River Derwent more than three decades ago. This is no passive starfish, but one that reproduces on an incredible rate and takes over an area for which it's found. Since its first detection in 1986, millions of dollars and hours have been poured into efforts to remove them. Despite all the human hours and money that goes in, the sea star always ends up coming out with the upper hand. Experts are exhausting all options, and nothing is working. Researchers said they'll now be focusing on areas where the already endangered handfish live because the sea stars are voracious eaters of the substrate they breed on. The handfish may not see the light of day after another winter should the sea stars continue their never-ending breed. The sea star can be found on the east coast of Tasmania. Number 8. Swamp Rats Another state battling with all sorts of invasions as of late, Texas now has a swamp rat problem. Experts pleaded with the public not to feed the swamp rats, also called nutrias, that are taking over Kraus Baker Park in Fort Worth because they'll continue to return should they find a friend in human hands. 
Local park authorities, where the invasion was heaviest, said the colony started to form at least a year ago, but should not by any means be encouraged to grow further. If they continue to grow in both size and number, they could cause significant damage to the local ecosystem, water supply, and creatures already struggling in the area. A colony this size could also introduce disease to bodies of water where there was none, causing many humans to get sick. The ramifications of this colony growing larger are none too good. It's best to listen to wildlife officials on the matter and just leave them be and hope a nature culling takes its course without human intervention. It may already be too late. Number 7. Mayflies Swarm Don't break out in a panic when you see the swarm of mayflies that recently struck, though you are right to do so. Could you imagine walking amongst a cloud of insects like that? The swarm of insects was so large that it was picked up on weather radar in the area, much like the recent ladybug bloom that blotted out the sun. The mayflies in this incident came from Lake Erie, where they've lived out the majority of their days. The tiny creatures make a yearly appearance, and experts say they're actually a good sign. As annoying as these flying insects may be to those that can stand the thought of any bugs whatsoever, they indicate that the water in the Great Lakes is in good condition. If there weren't any mayflies, that would be a bad sign for those that rely on the Great Lakes for many reasons, down to their water source. Though the bugs represent prosperity for fisheries and the lakes, it doesn't mean that it's the case for you. The best way to reduce the amount of mayflies in your area is just turn off any outdoor light at night. They'll almost always congregate around sources of light. Number 6. Burmese Pythons Sorry, Florida, your name has been drawn once more. The Sunshine State is quickly becoming home to the most invasive species in the country. In addition to vicious amphibians, overwhelming rodents, violent fish, and toxic algae, Floridians are now forced to deal with a super predator serpent slithering its way through the legendary one and a half million acre Everglade wilderness that Florida loves to go on about. They go on about the Everglades like the Eskimos go on about the Arctics. It's not really striking many chords with. The invading Burmese python is an active, genetically blended snake that wildlife officials once described as better embracing the subtropical environment and expanding its range more rapidly than any species before it, including that of the native Florida species. That means Florida is being overrun by some hybrid, aggressive snake. It lays eggs fast and thus multiplies faster than any Florida native species by tenfold. The state was already struggling from other invasive species, and now this one might just hail king of them all. The startling discovery of their presence was made during a routine investigation to improve knowledge of non-native species. Scientists analyzed a whopping 400 snakes in the Everglades, not knowing about the Burmese at the time. Its investigation took a whopping 10 years, from 2001 to 2011. The end results worried scientists. They had uncovered a complex, tangled family tree of serpents. Number 5. Bald Eagles Everywhere most people don't get a chance to see a bald eagle. If you want a sure thing of seeing the majestic animal in the wild, just head on over to Unalaska, Alaska. That's its real name. Every day, this island is populated by no less than 100 bald eagles, and they've become somewhat of a nuisance for the population that calls it home. Whereas the rest of the world might ever see one, Unalaska gets to see them as often as one might a pigeon in a big city. or a seagull at the beach. They're so prevalent here that many residents are afraid of them, and special rules must be followed to avoid injury from the mighty beast. According to experts, Unalaska is the home to roughly 600 bald eagles, and they all reside within a single, congested square mile. According to some locals, even doing something as simple as mailing a letter can be dangerous if you aren't careful. If an eagle thinks you have food in your hand, it'll swoop down and with its massive talons try to rip whatever it is right out of your hands. It might take an eye or a piece of your face with it, but it'll get what it's hunting for. For this reason, no one walks around eating food or drinking outside. Being as dangerous and massive as the species of bird of prey is, these eagles aren't afraid of humans like most other birds are. They must have grown accustomed to them, and seeing as they take whatever they want, don't have a problem displaying their dominance. Number 4. Mouse Plague Australia just got stuck with a biblical-sized plague of mice. Those who live in New South Wales and Queensland found themselves amidst a terrifying swarm of mice, with the rodents going as far as to invade homes, destroy crops, and make silos full of food obsolete. The next to get hit was the water supply, which proved to be a very bad thing. Obviously, many residents took to social media to talk about the nightmare that was unfolding there. 
Number 3. The Birds Can you look at this scene and not think of Alfred Hitchcock's famous film, The Birds? If you can, you probably haven't seen it, in which case you need to. Depending on who you are, this scene of hundreds of birds flooding into your living room would either be a magical or nightmare-like event. Imagine the family who it really happened to, while they were all at home sitting on the living room couch as 800 swifts came pouring out. The family said it seemed like they were never ending and that it was some sort of dream. As the birds poured into the house, they took up the walls, floor, even ceiling of every room. As you might imagine, the destruction was extensive, not to mention the amount of poop. Not only were all sorts of possessions broken, but stuff went missing. Those thieving swifts. The migratory birds of question are called Vox swifts and are notorious for roosting in chimneys. Number 2. Countless Carp The common carp has been a species in existence in the U.S. for over 100 years. Despite all that time, it's being quickly forced out by the Asian carp invasion. No rhyme intended. The Asian carp is actually a collection of non-native fish species, not just a single one. In it, you'll find the big head carp, black carp, grass carp, and silver carp. They bring with them their own type of trouble, and it always involved invading and taking over. The four fish species were introduced in the U.S. in the 70s to control algae, weeds, and parasitic growth in aquatic farms. Seems that it always becomes a problem when humans dip their hands into matters they don't fully understand. They were once captive and controlled, but life will find a way. They eventually escaped and made their way into the Mississippi and established breeding populations in record numbers. Once they made it in the Mississippi, there was little hope in slowing their dominance. Number 1. Floor is Fish Arguably the most unusually named tourist attraction in Pennsylvania must be where the ducks walk on the fish in Crawford County. Found within Pimatuning State Park, residents in the second largest lake, at least partially in Pennsylvania, have been drawing visitors to the northwestern corner of the state for decades. At this funny named city, located at a small spillway in the middle of the Pimatuning Reservoir, innumerable carp fight for food that wash over the spillway and are thrown to them by gawking tourists. The spot's name came from many ducks and geese that are often found competing with fish for bread pieces. Some of them get pulled under if they aren't careful. Try as we might, humans can't always keep out animals. Whether they're curious, looking for a source of warmth, or found an abundance of food, animal invasion in human homes are bound to human once or twice in one's lifetime. To animals, human things are just another standing structure for them to survive amidst the harsh wilderness. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.